Stuart Haas Racing added a rookie to their roster both in 2020 and 2021. They've been on a steep learning curve in the Cup Series, especially with the challenges of last year. I don't think it was a season anybody wanted, you know, SHR. Um, we were definitely down in all aspects, but this is the year where we want to hit back and we want to prove what we can do. SHR, it's a winning organization and we need to get back to that. So we're putting all we got into this next gen car. We're working hard to figure it out and it's just a matter of executing when we get there. There's not really a ton we can take away from last year. Not that we rode off last year completely, but I guess we put a little more of our chips in the basket towards the next gen car and trying to focus on that. So I do think that that'll hopefully help us out. I do feel like we're in a good place when it comes to the next gen car and hopefully our bad experience last year will help us for this year. It's certainly done that. Briscoe made a piece of history for himself and the sport at the fourth race of the season in Phoenix. Driving for his boyhood idol, Tony Stewart, Chase Briscoe becomes the 200th winner in the history of the NASCAR Cup Series. With the win, Briscoe cemented his place in this year's playoffs, while Custer got his first taste of victory lane two years earlier at Kentucky. Winning in NASCAR is what you dreamed of as a kid. I remember when I was five years old, I never thought I would ever win a cup race. So being able to win now, it's amazing to have that feeling when you cross the line and all the work that's gone into it, all the people that have helped you get there. I mean, it's a huge, moment in your life when you feel like you've you've accomplished what you want to. As the young guns at SHR, Custer and Briscoe may be judged against each other, but it doesn't feel that way, either at the racetrack or away from it. Cole's probably the, the one person I've been the closest to for a while. Ever since I've moved down here, he was one of the first people I met and we came through the Xfinity series together. He moved up a year before I did, so I've always kind of bounced ideas off of him. Cole is definitely the guy I talk to the most. You know, I talk to Kevin and Eric a lot as well, but Cole's been a huge help if I have a question about, hey, should the car be doing this, car be doing that, just because we are so relatable and experienced. We've been friends and kind of raced together for you know, probably six or seven years now. I mean, I think it's cool to kind of have that guy that you're comfortable with and you can bounce ideas off of driving-wise and just things that have worked for your car. So it's definitely been a, a cool relationship and being able to work with each other on the track and also staying a little bit competitive also. You know? So it's definitely cool to be racing with your friends out there. The pair also have solid working relationships with their crew chiefs, Mike Shiplett for Custer and Johnny Klausmeyer for Briscoe, who helped guide him to Rookie of the Year last season. Anytime you get any type of accolade, it's good, it helps your confidence. Um, obviously, that was that was a goal uh, for, for us starting the season last year, but the bar constantly raises, and he pushes himself. We push ourselves as a team. We know that last year was a learning year, it was a rookie year. This year, the bar has to raise, and we've set higher goals for ourselves. Johnny and me, I feel like, are very similar when it comes to demeanor. We're both really, really laid back. We're definitely on the calmer side of things. He hasn't really worked with the sprint car guy before, so it just took us a little bit. But now, you know, me and Johnny, I think, have done a really good job of kind of figuring out that foundation that we need and hopefully can build it up into something special. I think this is me and Mike's fourth year together, so it's been a great time. I've won a lot of races in Xfinity, won a cup race, so I think it's just a matter of, you know, we already have that relationship, so I think we can just keep building and building, and I think that's going to lend well going into this new car. From his first season to his second season, he's learned a lot. I think the team's grown a lot, and we just need to keep building and moving forward with this new car because everybody's on a clean slate now. The rules in the car are going more into the style of racing that he grew up doing, and I think that's going to benefit him a lot more this year. With Kevin Harvick and Eric Almirola at the other end of their careers, the drivers of the 41 and 14 hope to lead a bright future for SHR. They may share the same numbers, but they're just a little different. Cole likes the car a little bit tighter than I do for sure. I come from a dirt background where Cole's is a little more pavement, but I would say that Cole drives more off the right front tire where I'm kind of more off the right rear and slipping and sliding around a little bit more. But I think we both look for kind of the same feels, just different types of ways to get there.